we shall create a web API project. Create a usual MVC project selecting basic template. Since we have to serve data, let's begin by adding a model class. Give it a name. Add some properties. To the controllers folder we shall add an API controller. Begin by adding a controller as usual. Call it products controller. It inherits controller class. We have to change it to API controller. Type and change it. Resolve. Remove any existing functions. We shall now add an API to return a collection of objects. This will be an API. This is our completed API. Name starts with get. You should notice two things in this case. It's a get, and takes no arguments. How to call and what will be the root mappings? Inside app underscore start folder there is a file called web api config. Name of the root. Root mapping. We can see that our URL should be API slash products. Because of this controller. ID is an optional parameter. Action has not been specified in the root. Because it can be deduced. By matching the count of arguments and type of request. In our present case we have zero arguments in our get products function. So API slash products is sufficient to call our only API.
we can run the project to see this output. Ensure that your address bar has this URL. It calls the function get products. You might be wondering what would happen if there are more than one contending functions. An exception would be thrown. The format you see are seeing is XML. We can change it to JSON. We have to type down two lines of code here. And remove XML formatter. Just type these lines. We get JSON format now. We shall now add another API. This will return a single object. And it will take one argument. This code returns a product with matching ID.